they would say, you know, you have one small ball earring and you have a long one. She'd go, I know, isn't this funny? <laughs> and she called to thank me for that. There's so much in our life that we can laugh about. You know what? What happens is, I was standing with some neighbors talking one day, and the mailman came. We were laughing and having a great time. I went and got my mail, and I had my portfolio from Merrill Lynch. Well, you know what? It was pretty thin. <laughs> Didn't weigh as much as it used to. And um, I thought, you know what? I went inside, I opened it, I saw how much money I had lost. And I thought, wait a minute. Nothing changed in my life. Nothing. The people I was talking to are still outside talking. Those numbers aren't going to change my life. I can't do anything about it. I can laugh at it or I can cry. And it was in December, right before Christmas, and I thought, you know, I could actually let this loop ruin my Christmas. And we're allowing that. We're stop, We're not laughing anymore. So I put it away and I thought, what if, hypothetically speaking, I never got this? And what if it got lost in the mail and we never got our portfolio? We would have had the best Christmas in the world. But we left those numbers that we can't do anything about. <coughs> ruin our days. And I thought, we have control over that. So I just take it now and I just put it in my file because I can't do anything about it. You know, it, hopefully it'll come back. If it doesn't, I can't, it's, it can't ruin my days. I still want to laugh through the day. And so I tell people when they're complaining, I can laugh about the numbers that are sealed inside my envelope because I don't know what they are. You know, and, and it doesn't change anything. When I started speaking on laughter and I started speaking on celebrations, I realized, though, that the way to be happy and to be able to laugh is to look for things to be we look at what we don't have. We, we tell people what we don't have, and our happiness level is in direct proportion to our gratitude level. The more grateful you are for things happening, that happen in your life, everything, the happier you'll be and the more you're able to laugh at things. I seriously think that I'm the most blessed person in the world. I've said that for years. I've written down five things that I'm grateful for every day for about 17 years. I have a gratitude journal. This came out in November. And it has directions on how this works. If you really want it to change your life, um, there's quotes in here. And what you, it, there, you write in five things each day that you're grateful for. But there's a catch. You can't write the things down until the end of the day. And how that will change your life is that you have to carry them around with you all day. And you have to keep repeating in your head. The things that happen. Picture this. You're going down, you're, you're going down um, the road and you're on your way to work and um, somebody cuts you off. What's the first thing you say when you walk into work? When somebody says, how are you? Oh yeah, let me tell you, somebody cut me off this morning. I was almost in an accident. Well then they should say, well then I'm almost sorry for you, you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Just like I walked into a bar one night with somebody I coach, and he said, I almost called you today. And I thought, he's saying this in front of everybody in Nashville. I said, I almost answered. <laughs> but so, 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 um, so you drive down the road, and somebody cuts you off. And so you walk in the door, and they say, how's your day? And you go, oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened. I was almost in an accident. I can't believe it. They went right in front of me and didn't put their blinker on. And then this carries through the day. Through the day, people say, how's your day? Let me tell you how it started. But you decide to do the grad take the gratitude challenge. I teach us at schools too. You take the gratitude challenge, you're gonna write five things down each each day that you're grateful for. What happens is you're driving to work and the person cuts you off. And and you're mad at them. But then when you're getting into work, right before you open the door, you drop your briefcase or your bag and everything comes out. And somebody stops to pick it up, help you pick it up. So right away you click in your head. Oh, I have to write that down. Someone help me when I drop my stuff. And so then you walk into, you go into work and someone says, how was your day? Somebody cut me off. I can't believe it. I was almost in an accident. Okay, well, you have to remember, though, someone helped me pick up my papers. And then somebody comes in and says, I want to take you out for, I want to take you out for lunch. Hmm. It was the papers and someone took me out for lunch. And then you go there and you have a great conversation. And so all of a sudden you're like, okay, wait. Somebody picked up my papers. I had, was taken out to lunch. I, I, 
um, had great conversation. All of a sudden, it doesn't matter that someone comes out in the morning. You don't have the brain space to store it. It'll change your life because you have to keep repeating what happened. And then by the time you get ready at night and you're sitting there, you're repeating what happened. All of a sudden, what you're going to find is you're attracting fun stuff. You're attracting life. You're attracting celebrations. If you're going to someplace and you're in a hurry and you get and there's a, a green light, you used to say, you know, oh, thanks, green light, and you get excited about it. So all of a sudden now, you're doing the gratitude journal, you're looking, you're going, green light, I'm in a hurry. All of a sudden it's a gift. It almost feels like it was given to you. All day you're thinking, I, I, that green light is not for God. I was speaking up in Minnesota at a school and a, lady, a teacher came up after when I taught this and she said, um, 